<laughs> What's up, everybody? Okay, so seriously, I'm like the healthiest person on earth. That my blood type has something to do with what I eat. Sometimes, what we put in our bodies, uh, we might think it's healthy, but actually, it's not good for your blood type. How you can actually just do this at home? You don't even have to go to the doctor. We ordered this thing. Amazon. Amazon has That's everything. That's all you gotta do. I love Amazon. And if you don't like it, you can send it back. Well, probably not this. <laughs> It'd be nice if it was like that in everything in life. If you could just send it back. Seriously. <laughs> Relationships, oh. friends, family, right? Woo. Check my box. Okay, so we ordered this blood kit. I'm super um, scared because he's told me that like it doesn't hurt to be pricked, but... It's like a tiny little like mosquito bite sting. So... It's gonna help you out. You know, this is gonna make your health better. Right. You're gonna have, have a happy life. So, what comes in the kit? It comes in a little packet like this. The card is inside here, but you don't want to open this up until you're actually ready to perform the test. It comes with one finger pricker. What are these things? Oh, those are the blood scoopers. And this little thing to draw water. So, and then this little thing for your dirty fingers. And then instructions, which most of us don't like to read. Yeah, so we're not gonna read that. <laughs> No, actually we are. We're gonna follow the instructions here. And we're gonna start off with getting the card out of the packet and putting the water drops on it. The one that has to stay sanitary until you open it. You know those little tear things? Oh, there it is. It was hidden at the bottom. Crap, and I ripped it really badly and so it didn't rip all the way open. Oh my gosh, okay. So there's the card. Oh, anti-A, anti-B, anti-D, and control. So what does that even mean? What does anti-A, well, anti B? Be my friend that knows everything. We're going to go into that after we put the drops on. Take a little water squeegee thing. Water squeegee thing onto the card. One little drop there. One little drop there. One little drop there. One little drop there. Be sure not to touch them. Yeah, do not touch it because you'll mess up the whatever is on there. There's some kind of coating on there that reacts with the blood. The blood. You ready to get pricked? Oh, wait, wait. Sanitize it. Oh, yeah, you got dirty fingers. Who knows where those fingers have been? Wow. Saw you picking your nose earlier. Everybody and, does that. And your booty, too? Everybody does that. Everybody, everybody, <laughs> everybody puts their scratches their booty? Aren't you going to be using your right hand? Can I do that one? Excuse me? <laughs> Don't throw me the finger. Oh, that's the ring. Not the finger. <laughs> Come on, man. I have more decency than that. <laughs> Give me a little credit. Okay. Okay. Gotta keep this G-rated nice and clean. Uh, this little pricker don't thing. Don't make it unsanitized. Well, I haven't taken off the tip yet. Come on, baby. Let's do the twist. Okay, we can do it without the singing. There. Uh, you gotta twist, then pull. Ooh. Okay. So, the little needle is hidden here. Okay. It's like a little hidden stabber. I can tell you're tense. I can tell. <gasps> what you're the bleeding. heck? Yeah, bleeding. Ew. Okay, that is so gross. Okay, get the scoopers. Get the scooper. It, it burns. I don't know how diabetics. Cause I really don't. That's okay. from the alcohol. So we're gonna take a little scooper. Ew. Oh, I can't even watch that. Ew. I'm gonna take it. And you're gonna put it on the, the card with the drops of water. First, we're gonna lay it on there. I do not recommend doing this by yourself. Not one bit. I cannot even watch. Does blood make you faint? No, but maybe. I don't know. You know what? I've never even seen my blood just like leak out like that. That is really look how much blood I'm leaking. Let's get you a tissue. It is a lot of blood. All right, baby. See, can't even see it anymore. You put some pressure. It's gonna it's take forever out. for it that to stop bleeding. That burns. So what I would recommend, I would wait until well, I'm like not the kiss alcohol it, so. dries. All right. You're not gonna kiss. So this is what you have here. You have uh, four drops of blood in the four circles. And the instructions say to mix it in. So we're gonna take this, and we're gonna mix it in the water, and fill the whole circle up. Do not mix them. Hmm? What does it say with, do not mix them? No, do not oh. mix them with 
the same one. Like you want to mix it with the same one that's on there. This is so weird. I don't even see them changing colors or anything. I do. You have better eyes than I do then. They all look the same to me. Except for like the two N ones. Okay, so if you can see there, you see those little grainy things? Yeah. Oh my That's the... Now the instructions say to take this card and to tilt it. Okay. In different directions. Okay, so dab on that. Take the blood. Should I put these in here? Well, make sure you like, leave it all on there. Oh. Okay. So we take this card. All of it. Hold it 10 seconds like this. 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004, 1005, 10, Eight, nine, ten. Okay, so now we're just gonna let that dry now, but you can already see some changes happening. You see how this one has those little dots, and these other ones don't have dots. Okay. You notice that? Yeah. So if you go to this little, this glossary will show you the difference. When you see your third circle different, it's R R H O positive. I mean R H D type O positive. See, I told ya. So, you're type O positive. You're positive. I'm positive. We're both positive. We're positive people. Hey! So, what do positive people do? Positive people eat healthy. What do positive people don't do? What are we not supposed to eat? <laughs> Tell them what we're not supposed to eat. We're not supposed to eat avocados, coconut. Guacamole? No guacamole. No, no more guacamole on your chipotle bowl. I think that I'm gonna die, like quite seriously. Hey, at least you'll save money though, because you know, Chipotle charges extra for guac. No, we should seriously look it up because there's like a big list. For every blood type, there's like a big list. Yeah, coconut. And it's shocking. Apparently, um, type O positive people love meat. You need to eat a lot of meat, so. Which I don't. <laughs> I seriously ate meat once a week. That's it? Last week, yeah. You better get on it. I better know. start. Better get on that beef. Okay, so highly beneficial beef Ground beef, buffalo, heart. Gross, what, what do you do, Aztec, like <laughs> Indian? Lamb, liver. Have you ever eaten liver in your entire life? Fried liver from Grandy's. That sounds so disgusting. <laughs> They're actually pretty good with dip them in gravy. <laughs> oh my gosh, what the heck is mutton? <laughs> that's like a mutt, like something that's not, you know, like 100% breed or something. No! <laughs> What's a mutton? Seriously. Um, Sounds like a little tiny mutt dog. Veal and venison. What's venison? How dare you put me on the spot? <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't know everything. And then neutral is, what does neutral mean? Like, it's okay, but it's not It's okay, but not every day. Okay, so chicken, Cornish, hens, duck, partridge, and pear tree. What the heck is partridge? For Isn't real? that off a Christmas song? Yeah, for real. <laughs> Partridge We're not supposed to eat it. Tree. Okay. And pheasant, rabbit, turkey, and quail. Wabbit. It's just it's wabbit. <laughs> wabbit. Do you eat any of those things except for turkey? I don't eat wabbit. I'm not on my foot. I don't eat wabbit. And avoid bacon, goose, ham, and pork. Oh. Ooh, that sucks. Yeah, I love ham. It's my favorite thing ever. I love bacon. Crispy bacon. Oh, seafood. Go down to seafood. Let's see it. I can't believe we're both O positive. We're both O positive. It's all about being positive, you know what I mean? I know, really. Why would you wish... want to be negative? Negative Nancy's out there. So you could be like rare. It's really rare to be O negative, isn't it? It's like super duper rare. And apparently according to some studies, that's where like the elites are type O negative. The elites? And aliens are type O negative. The elites of what? Of this world. The elites of this world are O negative? That's what I read online, you know. Can't believe everything you read online, but maybe you can. I got chipped. Okay, highly beneficial. This is what I eat every day. I eat fish, a lot of fish. Red snapper's good. Salmon's good. Eel. 
Ooh, eels good. Eel sushi. Yeah, eel sushi, but who just eats eel? Yellowtail. I love yellowtail sushi. Flounder? Frog? Yellowtail sashimi. Frog? Really? Why would you even bother <laughs> putting that on the list? <laughs> frog frag legs? Oh my gosh. Fried frog legs. Anchovy? That's neutral. Gross. <laughs> yeah. Good thing it's not beneficial because... I don't even order those on my pizza, do you? For I don't, real, I don't no. Know Ninja Turtles like them. I've never even tried one, ever. <laughs> and it, yeah, no. Have you ever tried one? Hell no. But don't they make, um... Well, maybe it's time you should. No, that's gross. So neutral is soy milk. I don't eat soy. Soy's so bad for you. Yeah, it's so bad. Even if you're not type of positive. Because it hires your estrogen count. And exactly. when it higher the estrogen count, it triggers cancer. That's how my exactly. mom got cancer, actually. Avoid. Basically. No more pizza? Every kind of cheese that's on there. Yeah. Ice every cream. Every kind of cheese. I, I never gain weight with ice skin, cream. skin, so provolone, know. parmesan, those are all bad for type of Yogurt, positive. all varieties. I don't eat any of Monterey that. Jack. I don't eat any dairy <clears throat> product. Okay. So, when you're eating that fried food, you need to make sure you're not eating too much of it because a lot of fast food restaurants use this kind of oil. Peanut oil? Peanut and corn and cottonseed and safflower, those are really bad. Do you eat fried food? Not in a while, not in a couple days. <laughs> I don't eat any fried food. Yeah, right. I don't. Promise. I'll never catch you eating a fried chicken. You'll never see me eat anything fried. And I swear by Is this. Is it because you don't I like it? I swear by this that that causes cellulite. <laughs> Is I that why you don't want to eat it? I swear by it. <laughs> Is that why you don't want to eat it though? No, but still, like I swear by it. Because I don't have any cellulite and everybody I know has cellulite no matter how skinny they are. I don't have cellulite. Have you really checked? I might have a little jiggle in my midsection but I don't got any in my back section. Ooh. Okay, let's see here. Um, highly beneficial. Oh, pumpkin seeds and walnuts. I love walnuts. I've been eating but a lot of walnuts. But I also love cashews and we're not supposed to have cashew. No, that's bad. And peanut butter? And Seriously? Pistachios? Oh no, that's Shh. bad. That's bad. That's bad. You have got to do this. Not only that you got to do this, but you got to you got to make sure that you know these things. Because once you get used to eating them, there's no turning back. Like it's so hard to get away from the things that we love to eat. It's really hard for me. I struggle every day. Struggle is real. It's real, folks. Typo positive. No frijoles. Ew, black eyed beans. You don't like black eyed peas? No, that's just what about disgusting. pintos? Nope. You don't eat any beans at all? No. Cereals. Pretty much all the cereals are no. Yeah. No you grape nuts. Eat cereal no cornflakes. Anyway. It has a bunch of wheat, and wheat is really bad for people type O positive. I Pretty much any on any kind of grains, breads, muffins, mm -hmm. don't eat anything. <laughs> Just Ezekiel bread. <laughs> That's it. Don't eat anything with wheat. Cereal. Don't eat any English muffins. Don't eat any oat bran muffins. No pumpernickel. <laughs> That's None sucks. of that stuff. I love pumpkin bread. I don't eat any pasta. So no pastas. You're O positive. You are screwed. You're screwed. You pretty much only eat meat and, meat and lettuce. <laughs> That's all I eat anyway, except for the meat really? part. I usually eat fruit, fruit and lettuce. Oh, there's fruits on here too. I know, and I'm we're not supposed to eat them. I know, it sucks. Here's the vegetables. Yeah, I'm not supposed to eat red cabbage. Cabbage is supposed to be really good for you, but not for your blood type. So, if you are fat and you're wondering, I have been trying everything in the world to get skinny, it might have something to do with your blood type, for real. Yeah, because even though these things are or seem if like they're tired healthy, and sluggish. Yeah, if you feel like you're tired or moody, your body can't digest some of this stuff. It's just your blood type. Beneficial plums. I love plums. What about figs? I love figs. Fig newtons. Do you know where to find them here? I've been finding. I find them inside fig newtons, but that's not healthy for you, right? Because it has wheat. <laughs> I want figs. And then what about prunes? Those little shriveled up prunes. Yeah, prunes are good. Yum. No melons? I'm not supposed to eat strawberries? What? And tangerines? I eat tons of tangerines, tons of strawberries, tons of coconut Pretty stuff. much almost all the berries we can't have. Oh, forget it. I'm that done. That sucks. I'm done. I quit. Neutral is chocolate. Ooh. You gotta love your chocolate. So I'm not, I'm not supposed to have cinnamon on anything. What the? And vanilla? I love vanilla. It's my favorite flavor. Yeah, vanilla. No apple cider vinegar? Vanilla's your favorite flavor. Oh yeah. 
I'm supposed to avoid pickles. You love pickles? I love pickles. <laughs> no more pickles for you. No. <laughs> From now on, coffee, no coffee, no I soda, don't, I've never no drank liquor. Coffee. I don't drink soda. You don't drink liquor? All I drink is this one right here. <laughs> H2O and club soda. <laughs> he asked me earlier, how come I pee so often? And then after he saw me drink 40 many? ounces of water just sitting there for like, what, what, 20 five, minutes? 20 minutes. <laughs> There is no way I am ever sticking to that. There is no way. I tr I'm trying. It's really hard. Have you lost any weight doing it? Um, I lost one pound. <laughs> but it's, it's not enough. so not worth it. It's not enough. I need to lose about 10 more pounds. I might look skinny, but right around here in this midsection, I got this holiday weight. That needs I'm to come skinny off. on the inside. You gotta be thinking skinny. I will. By next spring or summer, I'll have my six pack back. I've never had a six pack, so I mean, that's, that's an accomplishment. I've never had abs, no matter how hard I worked. I don't even know if it's possible to have abs for me, but I'm working really hard right now to do it. And I gave up my whole diet. You're doing planks? Yeah, like five minute planks. We should have a plank competition. Ooh. I bet I can outplank you. Okay guys, so seriously, check that out. It's pretty cool. So where did you order this? Amazon, right? A blood type test. It should cool. only cost 10 to 15 bucks. Or you can go to this place here. The Automo. Buy them. They have, they sell it on their website too. Sweet. Do it. So you can give up half the foods that you eat. Yeah. Tell us in the comment, like, what's the hardest thing for you to give up? For real? Like, like, if you had to give up something, what could you not give up? That's a good question, huh? That is. Like, I don't think I could give up pumpkin. Like, I think that's my number pumpkin one. Pumpkin pie. I had pumpkin pie for Thanksgiving. You did? I don't eat pumpkin I've been screwing pie. up. I've been screwing up. Yeah. But we don't want to screw up anymore. We want to be healthy. Seriously, guys, check it out. Figure out all the things you need to uh, give up to get thin and stay in shape. And um, <laughs> Tell us in the comment section, what could you never give up? Like, if your life depended on it, that you could never give up. But your life does depend on it. This is your health. Oh, shoot. So, do you want to be healthy this year? New Year's resolution coming up? Oh, yeah. Get your New Year's, New Year's on. I don't know about the avocado part. What's the hardest thing that you had? The, the avocado. avocado and the cheese. Coconut for me, man. Hands down. Coconut. coconut. Yeah, I love it's coconut. It's going to make you coco loco. Coco loco. It keeps me sane. <laughs> no more pina coladas for you. <laughs> we'll see you later, guys. Do your blood test.